Carlos Ghosn's escape took months of planning, and the businessman decided to go ahead with it late December when he learned one of his trials would be delayed. Sunday, December 29th, surveillance cameras outside Ghosn's apartment in Tokyo show him walking out alone. He took a three-hour train ride to Osaka's international airport. There, he embarked on a private jet from Turkish private jet operator MNG. But Gon wasn't on the passenger's list. It's believed he traveled in this trunk, which was conveniently too big for the airport scanners. These holes were made so Carlos Gon could breathe. The plane did not fly directly to Beirut, which could have raised suspicions, but to Istanbul. Once it landed in Turkey, the trunk was transferred into a second MNG plane. On December 30th at 7.29 a.m., the businessman was back in his home country. He checked in through custom services like a regular passenger with his French passport. Two men present on those jets are suspected of playing key roles in the escape. Michael Taylor, a former U.S. Green Beret with close ties to Lebanon. And the other alleged accomplice, a former member of the Lebanese Special Forces. He obviously didn't escape on his own. He paid someone to smuggle him out. He paid from 1 million to 1.5 million euros. Since his escape, Gunn has kept a low profile. Until Wednesday, when he'll address the case publicly for the first time and show how he plans to defend himself.